Right, so a few things before we get started. The first thing you need to do is get yourself a spare key which corresponds to the key you're trying to cut. Here I have my 2005 Toyota Camry Master Key. And this is the spare key that I'm trying to cut. As you can see, the keys are the same according to the grooves, right? In my particular case, the key blade is considered a Toy 43 blade. And the chip in the key is a 4C chip. So you need to make sure that firstly you buy the right blank key blade, which corresponds to the grooves. And then you also need to ensure you have the right chip as well. Obviously, if you don't have the right blade or right chip, it's not going to work. Now, I'm also told that it should be a master key. But here in Australia, we don't get a valet key. For other people around the world, you may have a grey key, which looks like this. But here in Australia, you get two master keys. So I don't think we have to worry about that. This is the key that I have now. And the other key was also black, which I lost. And when I started doing research on this, I was told, that you have two types of keys a gray which is a valet key and then you also have a master key the way you can tell the difference between a master key and a valet key is when you insert your master key into the ignition the security light turns off immediately as you saw there as soon as i inserted the key the security light turned off and the minute i pull it out the security light comes on straight away if you had a valet key when you insert the key into the ignition the security light would blink quickly and then turn off. Now that I know I have a master key and I have the right blank key with the right chip, I can now cut the key to match my master key. So you just go to a locksmith and get him to cut the key so they're exactly the same. Now, another way to also tell what type of key you have is via the marking on your key. So here are a few examples of keys with markings on them. And if you have a marking on it, then it's a lot easier to buy the right spare key. As you can see here, my key has no markings whatsoever. So in order for me to get my key, I just ensured that I had the right blade. And the chip inside a blade with this was a 4C chip. I did a trial and error and it worked. Once you have everything right, you then proceed to get it cut by the locksmith so that it matches your master key. Also, when you insert it into the ignition, Although I have the key cut already, I can turn the car on, but it will not let me start the car because the chip isn't coded to the car yet. I cannot start the car. For example, I can crank this, but it will not start. As you can see, and also the security light still flashes. In order to get this to work, you have to do some simple steps. And I'm going to show you guys right now. And the reason why I wanted to show you guys this is because I went to Toyota. Now, they wanted 40 Australian dollars for a blank key, which hasn't been cut yet. Then they told me I had to get a cut from a locksmith. Then, once I asked them how much it would cost to get the key program to suit the car, they wanted another $170. So that is $210 just to get the key to sync to the car. Not even cut yet. What I did was I proceeded to find the right key on eBay. I found a local seller on eBay who was selling the key for only 13 Australian dollars and with the right transponder chip as well. Then I got it cut for $10 and now all I have to do is some simple steps and I can get the key to start the car and work. Anyone can do this so I really want to share this with you guys so you too can save over $200. What you need to do is start with the master key in the ignition. From here, you need to depress the accelerator five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now you need to depress the brake pedal six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Once you do that, you have to remove the key from the ignition. Then you insert the key you're trying to copy and you need to Depress the accelerator once, and now watch the security light. Notice it starts blinking. That's how you know that it is now trying to sync the key to the car. Once that light stops blinking, the process will finish, and you know that the coding has worked. 
you have to wait about approximately 60 seconds and that's it that's how easy it is to code this it's pretty amazing how you can do this yourself and save over 200 dollars, guys that's amazing all right so as you can see the security light has turned off now so we know this has worked all you have to do now is remove the key from the ignition notice how the light just turned on again just wait another 60 seconds and then you can try the key out it's just so that everything can reset and you know the the car can get used to this new key that has just been copied the key with the key fob is my master key and this is the new key that i have just copied if you look back when i started the coding and then i inserted the key the security light did not flash until i depressed the accelerator pedal that one time and then it started to flash meaning that it was starting to read the chip and i'm going to show you guys right now that the key works so here's the copied key right now and i'm going to insert it into the ignition and the light should just turn off as you can see the security light turned off right away meaning the coding has been successful and it will now start the car you saw before when i was trying to start the car it wouldn't work right it would just keep cranking but now look at that it starts how good is that guys for 23 australian dollars roughly 20 let's just say 25 i was able to copy my own toyota camry key and save over 200 dollars so let's look at the math right now. Toyota wanted $40 for a blank key uncut. And then they wanted another $170 to do this simple programming. In total, that would have costed $210 just to get the key encoded. Then you would have to cut it for another $10. So that's a total of $220 to get a key from Toyota. To do this myself, I bought the key off eBay for $12, but they also go up to $20, $22. Let's say I spent the most amount, $22 for the key, blank. Then I cut it for $10, that's $32. And then I did these simple steps, and now I have a working key for $32. Look at that saving, guys. That's over $200 you have saved just by doing this yourself. So that's why I really wanted to share this with you guys, so you too can save that type of money rather than going to toyota and getting them to do it and they just completely rob you because that's what this is all about guys sharing some tips and tricks with you guys so you can save money and keep that money in your pocket in the next video what i'm going to do is code another key fob for my viper alarm system in the toyota camry because i've only got one i've gone ahead and bought another two because it was really cheap and what i'm going to do is sync the key fob of the viper key fob to my alarm system the key fob does come from america what they have done there is they have already cleared the saved data on the key fob meaning that it's ready to be synced it's just like buying a brand new one that hasn't been synced to any car but if it is synced there are some steps you can take in order to clear any data on the key fob and then sync it to the alarm system that you have i'm going to receive used ones that have already been cleared so all i have to do is sync it to my alarm system and it should work with my alarm system and that's going to give me three sets of keys for less than a hundred dollars a hundred and something dollars to have two extra key fobs and two extra keys for my car because i only got one set of keys i want to make sure i have another set of keys just in case because you never know guys you just never know so i really hope you found this video helpful guys and if you did don't forget to like share comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one this is mike with mikey's vlogs signing off bye for now love it just to show you the other key works that's the spare and use the master it doesn't change the master whatsoever